Having a hard time breathing easy lately? Well, you're not alone, and you're going to have to deal with it a little while longer. New at 5, Ken Molestina explains how the Saharan dust in our air is causing discomfort for many. Ready? Go. The lunchtime workout routine for these three friends along the Trinity River must go on, they say. You got to do what you got to do, right? Got to make it work. Haze or shine. We see some haze every now and again. But Saharan dust like this, which has already made skies around North Texas murky, has them a bit concerned about it becoming an irritant and triggering allergy like symptoms. No, oh, it's horrible. It's just like itchy, watery. I mean, it always turns into an upper respiratory ear infection. And here's the kicker CBS 11 meteorologist Jeff Ray, who's been keeping an eye on the Saharan dust since it left Africa, says it'll be here for at least a few more days. Things will get a little bit better. You know, but probably not till Thursday, Friday, we'll get back to where we actually got some blue sky. As you can imagine, it's leading to an uptick of people looking for the allergy doctor. If you're out in the hottest part of the day, you're not only being exposed to the dust, but you're being exposed to the ozone. Those are two different irritants acting together to cause more problems. Dr. James Hayden says the dust is not an allergen, but an irritant. But either way, it's causing flare ups to those with air quality sensitivities. So that's when something is irritating the nerves that line the nose. And that'll cause swelling and production of mucus as well. So the best advice, he says, is stay out of the dust and keep allergy medicine handy. In Fort Worth, Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. And that dust, in case you're wondering, traveled more than 5,000 miles in the atmosphere from Africa to North Texas. 